what's going on. So I didn't have any intentions of like chopping up the dash or anything, but the guy's already got a single den radio cut out for it and he cut it, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it a little bit more and put a double den in it because I got one laying around. So we'll see how it goes. Blast it upward a little bit more on the Dremel than they should have. Focus. But they hit it twice right there. So I'm just fixing to bring it down so I can put a double den in here and I'll be cool with it. It's working. But Stock speaker running. in there. Not bad. Got these headlights. Got a shitbox truck. I'm fixing to tear into this thing and see if I can't get us some upgraded lighting. I like to be able to see at night. I don't like to be squinting and Trying to make out what I see on the road, so we'll tear this thing up and we'll not tear it up, but we'll tear into it and fix it up. So I pulled out my scanner, I got in there, it's swapped, has a factory computer in it. I plug into the OBD2 and I pull up some information that I didn't want to see knowing that like I just traded my CTSV, running, drive-in, AC, but it wasn't a bad, bad portion of a trade because that CTSV the sunroof would open and close randomly. You'd just be driving, sunroof would open. So the switch was bad on that. Uh, the headlights always flickered and flashed. I changed out the HID ballast like four times, never fixed the issue. And then what else was wrong with it? I went through like six alternators in like a year. That was cool. What else did I do? Uh, power steering pump. Power steering pump's been out. Replaced it twice, just keeps going out. So. I mean, I've changed the power steering pump rack, uh, all the lines. I literally replaced the entire system and it went out like a month later. So it's just like been a constant, always having problems. Also, what was there something else with it? Hold on, hold on, don't come to me. Motor mount, motor mount's been bad on it. The rear differential mounts, those were all, uh, bushings were blown out. And I've already replaced all of that stuff when I got the car. And I didn't replace it with junk. I put all polyurethane stuff in there and it just ruined those polyurethane bushings in like less than a year. And I was just over, it was like a constant, always doing this, always doing that. Like it ran great, drove good. It was a fast car. Like didn't really have that many issues, but it also had a lot of issues. And the, oh, the biggest thing I didn't want that thing for is because you'd be driving it and the whole cluster would just shut off. All the cluster would shut off, everything would shut off, and the AC would keep blowing, but there'd be no power, and you'd just be driving it, and the cluster would be off for like 100 miles, and then it would turn back on. So, a bunch of weird like electrical issues with it, so I'm kind of glad I got away from that, but here I am with another thing with a bunch of electrical issues, so it was tit for tat, I guess, but traded it for this 6.0 truck, 6.0 truck, and got the scanner on there, plug into the ECU, go into the computer system, go to vehicle information. What is it? It's a 5.3 with a 4L60. Knew it had a 4L60, but it was a 5 or it was a 6.0. So 
I mean, who puts a 6-0 on a 4-0-60? Like, let's, let's be real here. So, plastic cover's coming off because I don't want it on there. I'm not trying to sit here and say I've got a 6-0 truck and it's a 5-3. Like, you ain't going to kid no one with it. So, that's got to go. But we'll get into it. Low beam, low beam, pulled the plug apart. There's a plug right back here on the back side. I was power probing it. I was getting 12 volts coming from the cab, not going out of the plug on this side of the wall right here. Let's see if I can shine this up there. Yeah, so that plug right there, I was getting 12 volts into it, no 12 volts out on the top wire. Top wire is low beam, bottom wire is the high beam. So I pulled it apart. The amount of corrosion on there, it looked like battery corrosion, but my, these aren't corroded there. Someone just put the terminals on, so. But I just sat there with the wire brush, got in there and just let them have it, man. But, so now we got low beams. High beams. So I don't know who in the world bought these boards, but a guy come up uh, two boards short. So <laughs> I don't know what I was doing when I got my calculations. I like, looked at it, glanced at it, and I said, mm, about six of them will work, but there's four right there and two more over there, and I'm missing two here. I'm going to be like a quarter inch shy, so I'm going to, I don't have the strap tie downs. Uh, what I thought was the strap tie downs in here was just a piece of flat bar someone put in there and it looks terrible so um, I was really hoping that it was them I might just find some on the internet but we'll see all right let's fire this thing up and get on the road starts right up. Thank you. 